What's going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Gore here back with another quick product comparison between two new reels that just came on the market under the $50 price range. In fact, if you've got $40 to $50 to spend, you've got quite a few different options to choose from between the new Valiant Eagle or the new Spartacus II Baitcaster. So which reel is going to be right for you? Do you want to go with the Spartacus II Baitcaster, which has quite a few different color options to choose from? Or are you looking for that Valiant Eagle Baitcaster, which is actually the first Baitcaster in the installment of many other Valiant Eagle reels, but only seen in the spinning reel until now? Well, this reel features quite a few features that have been seen in higher end models, such as the Bassinator. This guy right here brings you a lot of really cool, innovative designs in a very affordable package. So where do you want to spend your 50 bucks or less? Spartacus 2 or Valiant Eagle Baitcaster? Let's dive into it and see what sets them apart. All right, guys, let's get into it. Let's talk about it. But first, let's talk about these right here, guys. These are the boxes. This is the containers, the shipping container or what it will arrive in. And I'll tell you what, you know what? Some people don't care about the box, but some people are like really, I don't know, it's just kind of a, a thing. They just like the way the boxes look and some of us save our boxes. So check these out, man. This is the Spartacus 2 right here. Cast King stepping it up, man. You got a lot of information on the side. You can contact him, uh, ways to follow them. Uh, you got your customer service numbers right there. Uh, different things on the box. Affordable innovation slogan, you got your part number right here in description on the back. It's a pretty cool setup right there, good looking box. Very similar box that you'll see in the Valiant Eagle, which is the two that we were comparing, the uh, Spartacus II versus the Valiant Eagle. Same kind of stuff, just kind of some cool uh, logo designs there. So, uh, but for those of you who don't really care about the box, you wanna know what's in the box, what's in the box? Let's take a, wait, 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 wait a minute. Then you get a sticker and you get your paperwork and you get your diagram about there. But that's not what's in the box that you guys are waiting for. What's in this box? What's hold on? Uh, oh, you know what? That's right. They're not in the box because I've already put them to use. I've already been playing with them. We've got the Valiant Eagle and we've got the Spartacus 2 right here, guys. Guys, forgive me. I've been using these reels, uh, liking them a lot. Uh, they're, they're pretty good reels, man. I tell you what. They, uh, they feel and they perform way, way, way impressive for the price range that they're in. I and mean, we're talking between $43 and $49, depending on which models you get here. So let me peel them off. I got some fluorocarbon on here. Uh, let me peel them off and let's get to comparing and looking at the similarities versus the differences between these. I've got uh, the Valiant Eagle, as you can see, is on a Speed Demon Pro Rod. And then I've got the... Uh, the Spartacus 2 on a Perigee 2 rod. Guys, Perigee. Per All right, guys. All right, so here we go. First, we've got the Spartacus 2, which is this gentleman right here, or this fine young lad, whatever you want to, however you want to look at it. It could be, it could be a female name, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but we got the Spartacus 2, and we've got the Valiant Eagle. These are both great looking reels, I'm telling you right now. This one definitely looks more of like a carbon, um, base kind of real it looks pretty cool it's got that flat black accent uh this one's got the gloss black you know when you set them side by side you can visibly see that there is a size difference between these now the valiant eagle is coming in at a low profile reel at 40 millimeters that is very low profile the spartac is coming in at 39 millimeters even lower profile in fact it's one of the smallest and lowest profiles we've ever created now there's some cool things about this and these small low profile reels, which is the rage, all the rage course, the smaller you can make them, the lighter you can make them, the better it is for you as far as uh, uh, fatigue, cramping, and just exhaustion goes. So that's definitely a plus when you see them getting into lower profiles. Let's take a look at some of the things that we see in a visual difference between the two before we get into some of the nitty gritty. So both of them are rocking an EVA grip with the Cast King embossed logo there. Um, the shape is different if you can't tell. So you've kind of got the shape on the Valiant Eagle here, similar to the comfort handle or the rubberized soft grip handle that we saw on the 
uh, Royal Legend GT, but it's still an EVA grip. So just a little bit different shape. Um, now your actual paddle though, they're very similar in size, as you can see, very similar in size. Uh, this one coming in a little bit wider. Um, they're not very, very thick. Uh, this, they, you know, they give you good grip. Uh, I love that EVA. EVA on the knobs are some of my favorite. Uh, some people love the cork. Some people like that new rubberized handle on the GT. I know I did. Uh, but EVA, I don't think you can go wrong ever with an EVA grip. Uh, both have a aluminum handle here. EVA knobs, aluminum handle, gold accents, red accents between the Valiant Eagle and the Spartacus II. Uh, but one thing that people don't really quite see, uh, especially like right here, Spartacus is like, um, it's kind of seen for its warrior style and things like that. So even in the cutouts where they saved weight, they made like a little like sword or a knife or dagger shape there. You have a similar shape in the uh, Valiant Eagle, maybe more of a wing shape, but this is definitely, they've marketed it, they've let it known that that's more of like a dagger. That same thing carries through, which is pretty neat, in the blade or the dagger shape on the tension knob there, or the brake knob, sorry, uh, for your brake adjustment. So kind of neat, you got a little, you got your little warrior dagger there, or sword for the Spartacus II. Now, on the Valiant Eagle, you actually have, like I said, it was a wing shape. Well, you have a wing shape right there, so not a big deal. These are things that aren't, aren't gonna like, you know, make the world fall in love, but they're just cool little, uh, little hints, like you have a little bit of a wing right there on that guy. And then, of course, you still have some little like slicing looking shapes in here. So those are just some neat little things that you have as far as cosmetics go. Now, flat black, gloss black, uh, gold trim, red trim. It's just a great looking reel all the way around. Pretty basic back here uh, on your on both of your reels. You don't have a whole lot of styling going behind. But again, these are price pointed uh, in more of your affordable categories. Like I said, both reels coming in under uh, $50. This is a 40 something dollar range reel both of these now and they are packed full of a lot of goodies that nobody else in the market can really say that they can compare with everything that you get with these reels let's go over some of those similarities like we said 39 millimeter uh, low profile in the Spartacus 2 40 millimeter in the Valiant Eagle that is a very low profile now in the Spartacus 2 uh, you have a traditional side plate let's go ahead and pop that open guys quick tip if you ever ever struggle on getting side plates off or putting them back on loosen your tension knob that helps it does that's on any brand any reel it just makes life so much easier but you have your traditional side plates here which we'll talk about uh, uh some of the different braking here in just a minute but that is your traditional style side plate that pops on pops off you have a button in the bottom on the Spartacus too now where you're set apart uh with the slightly higher priced reel you'll see this in like your royal legend elite um, your uh, your bassinator, you have the swing wing design, Speed Demon Elite. So you have a swing, uh, a swing wing design on here, or they call it the beetle wing, whatever you want to call that. If you're not familiar with this, this is a great, great setup to have because you can't lose your side plate. If you're on the boat, you're fiddling around, you want to do something, you want to change something, you want to look at something, uh, adjust a spool, whatever, and you take the side plate open, you don't have to worry about risk losing the side plate at falling off. Like this one could fall down, you kick it in the water, uh, you set it on something, gust of wind blow it off, because they are very lightweight. So that is something pretty cool that you see. Like you, like we said, we see in a lot of your more expensive reels uh, in the casting lineup, Royal Legend Elite, Speed Demon Elite, and the Bassinator. Okay, so that's your swing wing design. Like we already covered, both have an aluminum handle. Uh, I don't know the exact length on the uh, Spartacus II, but I do know it is smaller than the 105 millimeter aluminum handle uh, seen in the Valiant Eagle. Uh, we covered the sure grips. We have the EVA Comfort Sure grips on both. Now, here is something to take note of <clears throat> in both categories. Both reels uh, offer 
two different gear ratios. This one, as you can see, is a seven two to one gear ratio, but it is also available in a six three to one gear ratio, okay? Now, in the Valiant Eagle, you will see that this one here is an eight one to one gear ratio, but it's also available in a six six to one gear ratio, which we also saw like the swing wing design in the Bassinator. The Valiant Eagle is also offering an eight one to one gear ratio and a six six to one gear ratio like we also see in the Bassinator. So is this being kind of put into play as a very affordable Bassinator style setup could be very well could be uh, moving on down the road uh, we have the spools you have a CNC machine black and red spool and then a CNC machine uh, black and gold spool uh, let's get into the gears of the Spartacus and the Valiant Eagle there is a similarity so in the Spartacus 2, which is the more affordable of the two, you have machined and hardened aluminum gears in your gear case, which is a different case in the Valiant Eagle. These are Hamai cut precision main gears, they're manganese, as well as the penny gear is manganese, and then you have a brass worm gear and shaft gear. So that is uh, pretty good stuff there, but that manganese uh, brass, it is, it, it's found on a lot more expensive reels. It's a very awesome precision brass, hard brass. Uh, strong, uh, but don't get me wrong, that machined and hardened aluminum gears is going to do just fine for you, and it's super light. Both brass and aluminum, we all know, are very lightweight. Okay, so let's talk about drag. Now, I made a mistake in one of my future videos <clears throat> in the development of this reel. They were doing anything and everything could, as casking always does, to try to bring you a very high performance, very durable, long lasting reel uh, in just about anything that they produce within reason of affordable price. Now, if price can dictate uh, a lot of the different products that's used, uh, because if you're trying to stay within a, an actual market range uh, financially, you can't use the same components as a bassinator in a Spartacus too. It's just, I mean, well, then why would you spend $180 on a bassinator when you can get in a Spartacus too? So there's, there's, there's a, there's an area there, uh, because of the products being used. Now I made a mistake and said that this guy was rocking a dual Teflon drag because in earlier designs, when they were trying to create this reel to be such an awesome reel, but yet still stay within a certain price range, they didn't believe they were gonna be able to do it in a carbon fiber drag. Well, I was under the impression that we were still doing the Teflon design. I'm wrong. They did it, they figured it out. This guy right here is rocking a multi-disc or a four disc carbon fiber drag capable of 17.6 pounds of drag, which is a Cast King steeple. Now, you've got the same, uh, drag system or similar as far as the uh, the amount of performance to it in a 17.6 multi-disc or quad disc carbon fiber drag also found in the Spartacus 2. So that's pretty cool that you're getting carbon fiber drags in both of these applications. It took a lot of work for casking to get it done uh, in such an affordable price range. They almost went with Teflon. Now Teflon is a fantastic drag. Don't get me wrong. Uh, it's very smooth, but the carbon fiber drag is a lot more durable and uh, not as soft. Uh, with other drags, you just kind of want to back them off. You don't have to worry about that as much as carbon, but as we all know, carbon's more expensive. All right, so let's talk about bearings. Now, a lot of people believe that you got to have a bunch of bearings in a reel to make it worth anything, and that is not the case. We've seen that a lot of reels are coming in with a 10 plus one, nine plus one, 11 plus one. And that right there is the deciding factor in a lot of people's eyes. That's what makes the reel is the bearing count. Well, they stuff bearings in areas that they really don't need to be put. Uh, so you can actually still get an amazing design reel and you don't have to have 28 to, to seven bearings, you know, 33 to five bearings or 11 to one. You don't have to, it's all about the engineering and the designing. And these guys, we've proven that like in the Crixus model and quite a few other reels to follow that people have fallen in love with. And if you look at the big dogs like Shimano or that Abu company or whatever, eh, half the time they don't have anywhere close to the bearings that we pack in a reel and still don't. A lot of them are like five to one, six to one. Well, in these right here, you're seeing a seven 
plus one on both applications. Now, there is a difference between the two in your actual type of bearings. So right here on the Spartacus II, when it comes to your bearings, we're talking a shielded, corrosion-resistant premium ball bearing setup on this application. Now, where you will see a difference, both seven uh, plus one ball bearings, you're seeing a shielded stainless steel ball bearing. So this guy is now salt water friendly as well as fresh water. Stay fresh water with the Spartacus II, you can venture off to the coast with the Valiant Eagle. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's talk about something that is incredibly cool and to me is what really makes these reels uh, outstanding and it's the weight of these reels. When you pick them both up, you will realize they are both super, super lightweight. Now, the Valiant Eagle is coming in on a graphite chassis, graphite side plates, and coming in at an ultra low. Now, we've had carbon reels that we used to brag about how lightweight they were at 7.2 ounces. Well, now we have a super strong, super affordable graphite reel so we can keep the price down, still give you the quality, the performance, and the strength in a decent reel for a decent price. But at, coming in at 7.2 ounces, that's all this booger comes in at. That's nothing. That's lightweight. But wait, there's more right here. The Spartacus II, which came out within the same time frame as the Valiant Eagle, this guy is coming in at only six ounces. Six ounces. That's a whole 1.2 ounces lighter than the Valiant Eagle, which is already incredibly light. It's smaller and it's lighter, and it has so many of the same components as this one. Now, there's a few that, that separate them. Is that going to be the difference? Do you want to save a couple bucks, go for a smaller, lighter reel, or do you want to spin a couple bucks and get like the swing wing design and some of the different uh, attributes that it shows a slightly larger handle? Who knows? What's going to be the deciding factor for you? Now, let's talk about it. Let's crack this side plate open again. You have the Spartacus II coming in with a very powerful five button single. This is not a dual braking system. These magnets that they are using in this five button magnetic braking system are powerful enough, and I can attest to this, that you don't need a very complex braking system. With the way they design this reel, these powerful magnets are strong enough to be all the braking power you need. Now, the Valiant Eagle. This guy's coming in with a seven button magnetic braking system. I don't know if you guys can see that. It is a very powerful seven button magnetic braking system and it works well. I like both of these reels. They both impress me very well when it comes to the brakes. Okay, so one of the last things, I went ahead and removed the spool, which I've got out right here. I removed the spool on the Spartacus II because I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me reel it towards in the center. Do you guys see this? Do you see that we call this, I'm talking about right here, this guy right here. This is your, your line guide. So there's a difference definitely between it and the Valiant Eagle. Now the Valiant Eagle has a traditional funnel oval shaped line guide that we've seen in a lot of other reels before. But this guy is different. It's running an actual, what we call double tapered control shoot. So it actually comes as a funnel right here, which is more of a horizontal oval, as you can see right here, see the horizontal oval to it. Now when you flip it around, once it hits into the hourglass and starts to uh, change, all of a sudden on its exit, it goes to a, another reverse funnel, but this time it's vertical. So let me actually draw that out for you. So the way this funnel works, we're gonna call this the opening, okay? This here is more or less where the line is coming out, right? Now, when it actually changes to the other side, you have your exit. So let's flip that around. And here is from the front side. Now here's your exit. This is where your line is peeling off. Now you have a vertical funnel, right? So as your line is feeding off your spool here, it's coming off and it's entering. But as it comes out, running through your line guides, it has the ability to, to come straight off and not side to side and more straight down the line. This double chute, so basically you have a double funnel system like an hourglass. This one being horizontal, this one being vertical. Kind of a neat design that they're using on that double chute line guide. 
All right, guys. Well, that's realistically some of the key features that you're going to see between the Valiant Eagle and the Spartacus II. Now, the Valiant Eagle is coming in at $49.95, where the Spartacus II starts at $43.99 to $45.99, now, or $95. Now, your difference is in those prices between the Spartacus II is going to be your gear ratios and colors. Now, I did not mention that uh, until just now. This guy is only available in your flat black. This guy is coming in in four different colors to choose from. You guys will be able to get it in a silver, a black, a red, and a blue uh, style coloring, which will be perfect that it can match just about any rod application you wanna put it on. The black and gold trim in the Valiant Eagle it's pretty basic, it's pretty good looking reel, and it should complement a lot of reel or rods that you'd wanna put it on. Now, both applications available in a right-handed, as shown here, and a left-handed model at no extra charge, and it carries that way through all casking models. All right, guys, again, $43.95 to $45.95 for the Spartacus II, which is a 39 millimeter low profile. It is only six ounces. It's got two different gear ratios, a six three to one and seven two to one, available in several different colors. And then of course the Valiant Eagle, which is a 40 millimeter, 105 millimeter handle, six six to one, eight one to one. You got the swing wing design uh, and the gear ratios that are very similar to what you've seen in the Bassinator. Uh, both of them rock in carbon fiber drags, the 17.6. Uh, both of them seven uh, plus one ball bearings. This one's gonna be saltwater friendly. This one only wants to stay in the fresh water. Uh, and both of them are very, very lightweight. Like I said, 7.2, 6.0. Guys, these are awesome. You got that double shoot, uh, double tapered control shoot on the Spartacus II, and then you have a more traditional funnel style uh, line shoot here. So both of them have a lot of different things to offer. Which one's gonna be right for you in the price range within 40 to $50 that falls in between all of it, are you gonna go for? Spartacus II, Valiant Eagle. But heck, for such a great price range, get them both. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that broke it down for you guys and helped you guys decide which one of these two reels you wanted to take advantage of. The Spartacus II or the new Valiant Eagle Baitcaster. Or just pick them both up. Guys, my name is AJ Gore, and I'll see you next time on my next comparison video right here on Cast King's YouTube page.